Finally, the lifetime deal that you've been waiting for. I'm actually shocked that, that they are running a lifetime deal, but you can grab it right now in the link in the description. It's called Cast Magic. Let's go check it out right now. Hey, what's up, everyone? So this is Cast Magic, and it magically repurposes content. Now, right now, there's several thousands of users using Cast Magic, and that's why I'm actually surprised that they are running a LTD. You can actually see that Noah is actually using this to show notes to date and timestamps using cast magic now the beauty about it is that it turns the video and audio content into repurposing content that you can start using right away now cast magic is it easy to use yes it is and i'm actually going to show you the platform and how to automate using zapier so that means that if you want to automatically run cast magic to generate that content it is possible and that will be shown on this video okay so cast magic first of all you are going to create spaces and in spaces, you're going to designate what you want to create with the prompts. Now, I definitely think that you should get started in the prompts section for each one of the spaces that you create and create the prompts specific to each one of these spaces. So, for example, one of the spaces is going to create all these prompts in a single go. That means that we don't have to manually type in or chat with, with GPT or something like that to generate each one of these prompts. These will all be created automatically. You can use the community prompts that you can bring inside of here, or you can create your own custom prompt just by using the details right here. And it's going to automatically create the prompt for you. That's why content creators are using this. Okay. Now, how does it work? Well, let's start off with recordings. You can upload a file. You can use import links from these social media accounts, RSS feed, Zapier, and Zoom. So that means that if you have a Zoom meeting, that can be finished and it'll send over the video over here and repurpose that content. So pretty, pretty cool, right? So here's a video that I uploaded previously. And the first thing that you're going to get is the transcript for this particular video. Now, right here, you have a really short video that has two speakers in it. So there's John and Tommy. I designated the names to it just for testing purposes, but you could do a whole lot of things with this. So right now, if I highlight a certain area of this, Maybe I want to make a video of this little piece right there. So I will go ahead and select it and this magically pops up. So I can go ahead and copy this. I can clip it. I can do an audiogram. For example, let's do that right now with that little selection that I've done. Okay. I'll click on this. The Oppo Reno 13 Pro 5G is priced at temptingly at 54 Okay. So that's one of them. That's audiogram. There's text. So what I've just highlighted generates a text or captions. So it's just going to grab that piece of video automatically, super fast, and it's going to have it ready for us. For the 12 plus 512 GB version and the Oppo Reno 13 Pro. Okay, and I can go ahead and export it right away or change a little bit details here with the selections that I have available there. So that was super easy just by highlighting a piece of the timestamp. Okay, so that's one of the ways that you can use this. And then you have the create content. In this section is where the prompts actually kick in. That means that the prompts that I have available here previously created will be automatically generated for each one of these. So for example, there's a prompt for seven key themes, uh, keywords, speaker bios, questions, timestamps, key topics, and bullets. So for example, you can create a prompt for a uh, title, description, tags, uh, social posts, Facebook posts, Twitter posts, etc., and designate how many characters, how you want it uh, structured, et cetera, all using this uh, conversation starters. And this is going to give us all these options available here because that's how the prompt is going to work. Now, if you like any of these, you can go ahead and add it to the pipeline or go ahead and edit it right away. So in this case, I'll add it to the pipeline and that will be available over here for me for later to be used by me, my virtual assistant, my teammates, et cetera. It's up to you how you want to use that. All right. So that's one of the ways that you can use this. You can view the pipeline for this specific recorder. You can use magic chat. That means that we're actually chatting with this video. And there's also the studio. If you want to work with the studio, you saw the audiogram, the text and captions for the whole thing. That is possible with this option. So the idea is uploading a video or an audio and boom, automatically generating everything like magic with all the prompts that you designate. So it saves you a ton of time, right? Now you can also create pages. That means that if I want to create a page, you can create like a short page or long page. In this case, I created a short one. It created the image and a super short post. Yes, the video is short, so you don't get a lot of content, but this one was generated with the short content. If I want to create a new page, I can set the format to long form and I will get a longer 
page for this. Set the prompt, create, and boom, you got a page created. So super easy to use. You can designate speakers. You have your settings, as I mentioned before, the prompts. Uh, teammates, depending on the plan that you're on, you have available teammates or not. In this case, I don't have. And the workspace information here, okay? So that's for spaces. And creating a new space is just super easy. Set the language, the, the label type, the content, the magic words, etc., And you'll be good to go to create magic spaces for each type of content that you want to work with, okay? So that's one of the ways that you can use this. Now, can we automate the process? Yes, and the good thing about it is that Cast Magic is available on Zapier, or you can create your own with API, right? Let me give you a quick example of how to automate a process with uh, Google Drive from a file that's uploaded there and automatically pass it to Cast Magic to create all the content for us, okay? So let's go into create, let's add a new Zapier, and we are going to use the trigger. In this case, it's going to be Google Drive right here. And here it is, Google Drive. We want to connect to our account. So new file, we want to use the account that's connected already. Obviously, go through the steps of connecting. It just makes you log in and accept the terms. Then the drive, it's going to be my main drive. Let's go and continue. Here we go. Let's test the trigger. And it's going to find the latest file, which I've uploaded a video just for testing purposes. And yes, it's the same video as the one before, but it's just for testing purposes, okay? So let's go ahead and check here if we are good to go. Let's find out. All right, and it should be an MP4. So we want to make sure that that is the correct file. Let me find out the last one here. Here it is. Okay, it's an MP4. So, so we're good to go with this one. Let's go ahead and continue. There we go. And I do recommend that you use a filter in this case because the filter will work to only pass through if the file is an MP4. So if the file extension is an MP4, MOV, etc., you can continue. If not, stop the zap, all right? So in this case, MP4. Let's go ahead and continue. And this will only pass through if it's an MP4, right? And the next one we want to do is cast magic. Here we go. Let's go to select it. And we're going to choose the event, which is import recording files. So it does its magic, right? Again, we're going to connect to our account using the API key provided by cast magic in the settings section. The file will be the file on Google Drive. Here we go. We're going to select the download URL in this case for Google Drive. You can also do import with a YouTube if they allow it. Sometimes it's allowed, sometimes not, right? And the name of the recording for this file, I will use the, the title of the video over here, right? And I'll just say test in the beginning. And then the space, where is this going to be added? In this case, I'll add it to my video test section. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and test the step. Here we go, file imported successfully. Let's go back into our cast magic. And you can see it's now processing right here. Uh, let's go into our video test and it should be uploading it to start running it over here. So that's how easy it is to start uploading the files to Cast Magic. So just by automating this process, that will be a fantastic automation to start sending over and start generating content with Cast Magic. So right now, Cast Magic, as I mentioned before, it's a lifetime deal and you definitely want to check it out. Now do consider that license tier one and two is not a lifetime deal. So you will want to consider that. For example, tier one and two, this is the amount of access that you're going to get. So it's one year and a three year access. But if you want to grab the lifetime deal, that will be from license tier three and above. The reason that this is happening is because AppSumo is now targeting bigger companies. And that way, if they want to only provide lifetime deals at a higher tier, this is the way that they are going to structure it. So I think it's a great idea. It gives us the option to grab these reputable company lifetime deals with this deal terms that they are working out with AppSumo. So I definitely think it's a win-win for all of us. And I definitely think that we should definitely check out Cast Magic. Don't forget, there's a 60-day money-back guarantee. So in case you don't like it, you can go ahead and refund it. But I'm pretty sure you'll like Cast Magic. Well, that's a wrap, and don't forget that the lifetime deal link is in the description. Bye-bye.